Hi guys, today I will compute for our vectors, our resultant vectors using the component method. So the first one is writing the component form of this vector. So the first one is 145 meters with a direction of 20 degrees east of north. Now, if I draw that, it would look like this, this one this vector Ve let's name it vector a now i will write it in its component form meaning i will write it into its ax and its ay form and in physics we use the j hat and i hat the, to represent the x and the y axis so for this one i'll just write the original form i have here a the vector a with one four five meters and it is um, 20 degrees east of north okay so we have this figure now this is something that you should remember you should get the ax and the ay now you will decide who will get the cosine and the sine my technique here is I just think who will get the sign. Now, in your trigonometry, I hope you still remember, this is AX and this one will represent AY. Now, who will get the sine theta? The one who will get the sine theta is, of course, the one who is opposite to the degree. Do you remember? So, katoa, sine is equal to the opposite divided by the hypotenuse. So, the one who will have the sine 20 will be the 145. Because it is the op opposite, the AX is the opposite of the, the 20 degrees. And I will have cosine 20 here. Okay? Now, the next one that you should get is the sines. Now, please remember, we are in the quadrant 1. That means x is positive and y is also positive. So, all of these are positive numbers. So, I'll just write the value. And that is a positive 49.60 i-hat, meters i-hat. I'll just put i-hat there for now. And the next one, if I use cosine, I will have 136.26 j hat. Okay. Now, if you write that in its component form, it would look like this. The vector A can be written as 49.6 i hat plus 136.26 j hat and that's the vector a now let's go to vector b for vector b we have this one it is 105 meters in the direction of 35 degrees south of east now remember if you make an arrow here that means you will go to the south from the east so it's always like this same with this one it says here north to east that means you came from the north you'll go to the east so that is the direction of the angle so we have here the east that's why we have here the east and we have here the south so you're going from east to south so this arrow here we have an arrow here I will name this the vector B. Now, for vector B, it is 35, uh, 105 meters with 35 degrees south of east. Now, I will write it in its component form. So, we have here the BX and the BY. So, I will write... 105 and 105 
Now, we will decide who will get the sign. And of course, the one that is remaining will be our cosine. Now, remember, guys, if it's a straight line, if it's vertical, that means the AY. So, I hope you understand that this is the AY. Anything that is horizontal is the AX. Okay, because it's the AX. I mean, it should be BY, a BX and BY because we're talking about uh, vector B. So, BX and BY. I hope you understand if it's horizontal, that means it's in the X axis. If it's vertical, and that means it's the Y axis. Now, who will get the sign? Which is the opposite of 35? The opposite over hypotenuse that is sign is actually the BY. So, BY will have the sign 35. And therefore, BX will have the cosine 35. Now, the next one that you should remember is what is the signs of X and Y here. So, we have X and Y for B. But as you observe, the Y will be a negative and the X will be in its positive direction. Kasi di ba ito ay plus X and this is a negative Y. So, we have a positive X and we have a negative Y. And then, let's compute for that. 86.01 I hat. And then, we have for BY, we have we have 60 0.26 j hat okay if you write this in another um, component form of vector b it would look like this 86.01 i hat minus 60.26 j hat it's minus because it's it's negative and then the last one is the set the third vector now the third vector is 125 the third vector is 125 south so this is the third vector now as you can see it's only vertical when we talk about vertical it's just a cy so therefore this is actually a little bit easy because 125 south means you don't have a value along x-axis because we don't have horizontal there. You only have y, which is 1 to 5 meters. Now, you have to decide. You don't have to use the cosine and the sine because it's only up and down, left and right. So, this is down. So, you don't have a uh, x-axis. For this one, please remember that we are talking about a negative y because it's going south. So, let's just name this the j hat. And the 0, let's make that the i hat. Okay? So, this is how we write the component form. Now, I will show you the answer. So, as you can see, I think we have the same answer in a month. 49, 136, 86, negative 60, ayan. And then, let's talk about the resultant. Now, what will be the resultant? Resultant. What you do is you add everything. So you add everything, the C, the I hat of the A, the I hat of the B, the I hat of the Y of the C, the J hat here, the J hat here, and the J hat here. And you will have this vector. But this is not yet the answer. Now how to get the one value, not the component form, but the normal vector form? To get that, you will you will use the Pythagorean theorem. So the, for the Pythagorean theorem, it would look like this. R is, of course, Rx squared plus Ry squared. Now, if you solve that, that would be um, 135.60 squared plus... A negative but you know if you square that the negative will just disappear but for our lesson sake let's use this square and then we square root it 
Now, I will show you the answer. It will look like this. So, this is our answer. Now, this is just the magnitude. What do you mean by magnitude? How strong? If it that if that's Newton, how strong? But in our case, how? What is the displacement? That result not displacement. And this is the, yeah. So this is one four four, point one seven five meters. Now, how did I know where should I put it? I know where I put it. Big, in the fourth quadrant. I know it's in the fourth quadrant. Because we know in the fourth quadrant, we have a negative y and a positive x. That means the resultant is a positive and the negative. So we know that it's somewhere here. Then the next one is, so this is the magnitude. The next one is the direction of the vector. To do that, we use the arc tan. So in your... In your calculators, you will see this, tan negative 1, or some of us will just use the arc tan. If your calculator doesn't show that, it means arc tan. Maybe that, that's present in your calculators. From using the ry, okay, the value of ry, divided by rx, the value of rx. So, that's why if you compute it, you will have this. So, this is approximately 20 degrees. Okay. And that means we are in this one. Now, please remember the 20 degrees is always from the, from. So, it's always, if we, the answers of tangent is always off, east, or west. So, it's always off, east, or west. So, in our case, this is east. So, east, like that. So, this is south of east. Again, the whatever you'll get here in the tangent, it's always blank of east or west. But you have to determine where the vector is. So, here, since we know the vector is negative y, positive x, that means it's south and east. So, I will use east of south. So, it's like that. And then, we have now the, the resultant vector, which has the magnitude and the direction. So, I hope that is clear. And you can replay this video if you need more guidance, I, if, you, if you need more um, review on this item. Now, you can also message me in case um, there are debatable answers in this problem. Thank you so much. Be safe.